Did you see that? A ghost. Cause girls is players too. Bitches getting money all around the world. Cause girls is players too. What you know about living in the top? Penthouse suites, looking down on the ops. Took them for a test drive, left them on the lot. Time is money, so I spend it on a watch. Hold on, low T showing through the white teeth. You can see the thong busting on my tight jeans. Okay, rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me. Got another shorty, she ain't nothing like me. Yeah, about to catch another fight. Yeah, the apple bottom make him wanna bite. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, no, 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 no. no. If you broke, then you gotta let him go. You can have anybody, any money, mo. Cause when you a boss, you could do what you Cause girls is players too What you know about living in the top Penthouse suites, looking down on the ops Took them for a test drive, left them on the lot Time is money, so I spend it on a watch Hold on, low T showing through the white tee You can see the thong busting on my tight jeans Okay, Rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me Got another shorty, she ain't nothing like me Yeah, about to catch another fight yeah. The apple bottom make him wanna bite I just wanna have a good night wanna have a good night, hold up, no, 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 if you broke, then you gotta let him go, you can have anybody, any money, no, cause when you a boss, you could do what you Welcome to Paranormal Pentivity, a show about songwriting, ghostwriting, and everything in between. My name is Naeem Elwaza, I am your host, and today, we gotta give it up for Coy Lorray for finally taking some good fucking advice about her music. And possibly hiring a fucking writer. But not only that, there's a couple of things she did right with this song that it should be out relatively soon, if not by the end of the year, probably sometime the top of next year, because it wouldn't even really make sense to drop this song so late in the year. Unless they drop this song and it starts rolling into next year and having, you know, steaming buzz if you know anything about dropping in quarters and stuff you know usually the fourth quarter is if you're a major label artist the fourth quarter is usually when they throw all the extra music out there or music they don't really think or whatever unless you're like a super super superstar i'm gonna just be for real i'm fucking glad first and foremost i am glad she stopped rapping in that fucking playboy cardi bullshit voice because I always was one of those people, and I know I got a lot of backlash about the Benzino shit, but niggas aren't understood what I was saying about whatever. I think is she is one of those people who's kind of in a lane by herself at this point. So it doesn't even make sense to stay playing the industry game when this is a person who does very, very well as far as social interaction. So all she would need to do is concoct some type of hit record that is actually going to have some sticking and some staying power in order to kind of reverse the damage that was done i know she took it in stride with her first album trendsetter came out and it did terrible i guess it did terrible i think it did for somebody that nobody really knew and didn't have no sticking power i think it did all right as far as that but i guess if people are concocting how many people can see you how many times you go viral with sales then whatever right i'm not here to talk about that today she stopped rapping in that stupid ass voice because that that's just that's not beneficial it wasn't helping and not only that she actually has a very nice speaking voice and i was the first person to say that that voice she needs to stop fucking rapping in that voice because she has a nice, just a nice regular voice. The second thing, how I know that this song is a hit is it is a familiar sample. If you pay attention, a lot of people fall into or stumble into having a hit because they use a familiar sample that everybody already knows. And if you don't know the sample, the sample is... um. Obviously, Ice Cube sampled the song from a song before that, but people are going to associate when they hear the song with that Ice Cube song, Check Yourself. Another thing is the lyrics, man. The lyrics, this bitch, when it got her right, I'm telling you, I'm fucking happy as fuck today. I feel like she took my motherfucking advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
going to get a writer, somebody who can write something that is relatable to, because she's a young bitch too, write something that's relatable to people. You know, like it makes, like it's making sense. It's sounding good. It's just comp, it's not complex, but it's just complex enough where it sounds like you got your shit together. And this is, that's the biggest thing. Like this rebrand and this, this, cause my thing is she kind of had this childish, childishness like to her, but this rebrand right here, man, this the one I'm telling you, I know a hit when I hear a hit, this is the one, this is absolutely the one. So familiar sample rapping in her regular voice, hiring a writer. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, you better tick tock for your life. I'm telling you, you better tick tock for your life. This right here, this is absolutely the one. And I'm going to be for real. Over here, we, we'll we we'll talk about everything as far as what motherfuckers do. But I will definitely champion the motherfucker when they do something right. I'm telling you, like, especially when it's got to do with writers. She did her fucking thing. And it's just a, a sample, a clip. Like I said, you know, we'll play it again at the end. But she finally took some fucking good advice. And I think that... Next year is actually going to be pretty luminescent if she stay on this. Like, this is the thing. You need to stay on this path. And and if you want to do it, you got to do some serious shit and stop playing and clean it up. Because I know just from watching, you actually, you, you are one of them ones. I feel like she's one of them ones. And, man, one of those ones for her lane because she's kind of in this lane by herself. Even though she definitely... The first time I ever heard about her was she was dating Trippie Red, but you know, that's kind of, it doesn't matter because if she stay on this path, oh yeah, we're going to forget all about what the fuck happened before. We're going to know you had the song, uh, you know, we, the little Dirk shit and all that, but yeah, she got a, she got a hit. She got a fucking hit right here. She, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cause I like to see motherfuckers get out here and, and do something right and win about it. You know what I'm saying? So. More people need to hire writers, man. Stop fucking bullshitting about what you got, man. Ain't nothing wrong. And I be telling you, ain't nothing wrong with hiring a writer if you need the help. Especially when you so high up, my nigga. Like, this girl is up there. She, they already done invested so much into it. Ain't no way we about to just let our motherfucking, we, when we know you got something. Bitches like Cora Ray don't come through every motherfucking day. And I, that doesn't mean that you can't write because you hire somebody to write your shit. You just might need some help in finding your lane. So, this is Paranormal Pentivity. This is a good fucking day for me. I'm having a great day. My name is Naeem Elvis, and I will holler at you. Did you see that?